Hello, friends. My name is Deidre. I'm Harper. This is Harper. She's going to be my special guest mm -hmm. today. We're here for at home story time. This is a very quick story time that you can do with simple things you have at home. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to join us today, you can bring a friend, someone who lives with you, or who else could they bring? A pet. Maybe a pet if you have one. We brought our dog, Hero. Or if you're just watching on your own. You can bring a stuffed friend. Yeah, you could bring a stuffed friend. And make sure that you have something to use for a scarf, right? We've got some scarves, but maybe you have a bandana or a napkin. So you can go get your friend and your scarf, and we will have a quick announcement while you get those things. Mm -hmm. Okay, grown-ups. It is summer learning. Just because it's summer doesn't mean your children should stop learning, okay? So if preschool's closed or your kids are still really little, you can go to smcl.org to find out how to get entered into a raffle to win a scholarship for $1,000 just by reading to your child. Even tiny kids, even babies are eligible to get entered into this raffle just because you're reading books. So go to smcl.org to learn about our summer learning challenge. Yes. And also keep watching our YouTube channel all summer. Every Friday we have special performances and every single day we have special crafts and activities mm -hmm. going on for older kids. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay, friends, enough of the boring stuff. Let's mm -hmm. do the fun stuff. So. Our welcome song today is called Hello, hello everybody. everybody. <laughs> yes. And so we're going to sing Hello Everybody. Can you touch your feet? Toes. We'll say toes. Uh. <laughs> okay, so show us your toes. Yep, very good. We're gonna touch our toes, okay? And then we'll sing the song a couple of times with different body parts. Here we go. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Oh, good job. Thanks for that little musical flourish. <laughs> All right. I think we need to pick one more body part. Hmm. What else could we do? Maybe our sh 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 shoulders? Yeah. Okay. Can you show us your shoulders? Right there? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and sing it again with shoulders. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your shoulders? Touch your shoulders. Touch your shoulders. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your shoulders? Touch your shoulders. <laughs> yes. Very good. Okay. I think we need one more. Hmm? One more body part to learn for that song. How about your chin? Chin. Oh, that's very interesting. Now, where is your chin? Let's point to it, okay, instead of touching it. Mm, yep, right underneath your mouth. That's your chin. Okay, so this time we will point to our chins instead of touching it. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to touch your face. That gets germs on your face. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go like this. So we'll sing point to your chin instead of touch your chin. Okay? Well, hello, everybody. Can you point to your, to your chin? Point to your chin, point to your chin. Well, hello, everybody. Can you point to your chin? Point to your chin. <laughs> that was very good. Okay, good fives there. Friends, this is the time when we like to do some finger wiggling songs, and we're gonna do one of the easiest ones of them all. Can you make your hands into little bitty spiders? Creepy crawly spiders, yes. Okay, so you know the song about the spider. Yes, itsy bitsy spider. Let's go ahead and sing that one time. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! That was very good. And we're going to do another finger song. This one's kind of a tickle. So if you have a friend who is with you who likes a tickle, you can get them. But if they don't, that's okay. You can always tickle yourself. Or, or you grow. can grab your um, stuffy and tickle them. Yes. So we're going to show you how to do it on our stuffed animals, mm -hmm. okay? 
You do what makes you happy and what works best for you. Okay, this is called on my foot, there is a flea. Now a flea is a little bit like spider, except it's smaller. It's a tickly little bug. So can you make fleas? A little flea? Very good. And we're gonna start on our foot. So it could be on your own foot or on your stuffed animal's foot, okay? It goes like this. On my foot, there is a flea. Now it's climbing up on me. Past my belly. Tickle, 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 tickle. Past my nose. On my head, where my hair grows. And we're gonna go back down. Here we go. On my head, there is a flea. Now it's climbing down on me. Past my belly. Past my knee. Tickle, 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 tickle. On my foot, there is a flea. Take that flea. You don't want the flea to stay. We have to make it go away. But that one's lots of fun to do, especially if you have really little ones and they're on a changing table. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I think we are going to go ahead and do a special song with our hands. That's always good to know. This is a song about hand washing. It's always really important to know that we're washing our hands for long enough. So you can practice this song at home. And if you sing it two or three times, that's long enough to meet the 20 seconds for hand washing. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try it like this. I'll show you how to do it. And so will Harper, okay? So can you get your hands ready? We're gonna pretend we're washing our hands, okay? And we're gonna sing this two times. Okay, so that you can learn it. Here it goes. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between, scrubbing all around, scrubbing all around. Now we're clean, squeaky clean. Let's go again. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, and thumbs, in between. Scrubbing all around, scrubbing all around. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. That was very good, all right. We've got clean hands now, okay? Also a good song you can do with this hand sanitizer if you need to be doing that too. Okay, friends, I think it's time for a couple of our signs today and then we'll get to our story. This is one that you have maybe heard me do before if you've watched my story time. It's for two very special signs. The first one is for a very important word. Whenever you ask somebody to do something for you or give you something, what is the word that you say? Please. Yeah, you say please. So to learn the sign for please, you take your hand, put it on your chest, and make a circle. Please. Grownups, it's always good to do signs with kids so that while their verbal skills are still developing, they can still show you what they mean, even if they might not be able to say it yet. So please. The other one is so important. This is the sign you did when you were little. You know it. I know it. More. <laughs> more cookies. More milk. More hugs. Okay. <laughs> so just tap your fingers together and that means more. Those two signs were used in this next song, which is a song that you can sing whenever you want more stories, more books read to you. Okay, it goes like this. Oh, I love it when you read to me, read to me, read to me. Oh, I love it when you read to me, please read some more. We'll sing that again after our story. Now today's story is really cool. It is about being a citizen. And Harper, do you know what a citizen is? It's a person that like lives some, like, like if you live like in a town or like a city or something like that, um, like a, a, that's like, where yeah, you a live. Rural area, um, then yeah. It's somebody who lives in a community and who is a part of that community. It might be your city or town or your country, or it could even be a little place you make your own, like the kids in this book, okay? So let's see how they are a citizen. What can a citizen do? By Dave Eggers with art by Sean Harris. What can a citizen do? Okay, 
again, by Dave Eggers, art by Sean Harris, and this book is read with permission from Chronicle Books. What in the world can a citizen do? Who can a citizen be? A citizen is just like you. A citizen can plant a tree. A citizen can help a neighbor. No trumpets. No trumpets. <laughs> a citizen can write a letter. A citizen can help change laws. Um, so they change it from no trumpets to okay trumpets. Okay trumpets. <laughs> a citizen can right a wrong. A citizen can turn things round. A citizen can get things right side that have been upside down. A citizen should be engaged. That means that a citizen should care and care. A citizen should save things, build, build things, save things. A citizen can be a bear. Yes, a citizen can be a bear. A citizen can be a kid. A citizen can wear pink pants. A citizen cannot stay hid. A citizen's not what you are. A citizen is what you do. A citizen cannot forget the world is more than you. We're part of a society, right? That means community, like where you live. One full of joy and pain. A land of latticed people, none of us the same. And if we help just one, help one lonely soul, we open doors, we bring in light, we bind us all and make us whole. So forget yourself a second. Grab a shovel or a pen. Do something for another. Don't you dare doubt that you can. Everything makes an impact on a bigger big than you. And it all starts with the question, what can a citizen do? All right. I really like that book because it's about thinking about how you can help the other people around you that share the same community that you do. And there's lots of different ways you can do that, whether by just making signs or drawing with chalk to help make people happy on, or by maybe helping to give something to somebody that they need, okay? So there's lots of ways that you can think about that, especially as we start talking about what it means to be a citizen when the 4th of July is coming up. Okay, friends, you remember, we had a song with please and more. Let's sing it one more time so that you can remember it, okay? Oh, I love it when you read to me, read to me, read to me. Oh, I love it when you read to me. Please read some more. <laughs> Great, okay. I think now, time for a super wiggly song. Mm -hmm. Nice big wiggly one. Oh, I know what we're going to do. Let's do row, row, row your boat. But we're going to do more than just rowing. So I'm going to get my stuffed animal, Duncan. You've got your stuffed animal? Okay. So we're going to pretend we're boats. So I'm going to sit in my boat. Are you going to sit in your boat? Here we go. Okay. And Duncan's going to sit in the boat with me. Now, can you get your oars ready? Because we're going to be rowing. So you got to hold on to your oars. You ready, Harp? Here we go. Okay. So we'll just sing, row, row, row your boat. You know this part, but we're gonna add on some extra parts. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Whoa, okay. All right, this time we're still in our boats. We're gonna twist. Are you ready? Here we go, okay. Twist, twist, twist your boat. Gently down the stream. Whoa, merrily, 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 merrily. Life <laughs> is but a dream. Okay, water's getting rocky. We're gonna rock our boats. Here we go. Rock, rock, rock your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Okay, the water's still moving. Oh no, it's kind of bumpy. We're gonna bump our boats. 
bump, bump, bump your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh no, we bumped and rocked so much, we got a lot of water in our boat. Can you help get the water out of our boats? Here we go. Scoop, splash. Another gun. Scoop, splash. Okay, one last big one ready. Scoop, 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 soap all that water. And splash. Oh, our boat is safe. Okay. You bumped a little too hard there, I think. Okay, friends. I think now it's time for scarves and then it'll be time to say goodbye. So did you bring a scarf with you today or something to use for a scarf? If you didn't, that's okay. You can just use your hands to play with us because right now it's time to play peekaboo. Now, you might want to put this over your own face, or maybe you don't. Maybe you want to put it over your grown-up's face. That's okay too. Or you can put it over your stuffed animal's face. Or your face stuffed as animal's well. face, okay? But we're gonna put it over our own faces. Yeah. And we're gonna count to three and say peekaboo. Ready? One, two, two three, peekaboo! <laughs> okay, let's do that again. And this time I'll put it over my friend's face. Oh, she's gonna put it over my face. Here we go. Okay, ready? One, One two, three. Peekaboo! <laughs> oh, there you are. We found you. Okay, last time, last time. This time over each other's face. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Here we go. One, two, two three. Peekaboo! <laughs> hey, there you are. We're so happy you're there. Mm -hmm. Okay, friends. Now, can you take your scarf or whatever you're holding and make it very small? This is really good for little kids to practice flexing their fingers and and trying to hide things in their hands. Whoa, can't even see it at all, can you? But it's okay, it's still right there. We're gonna say a special rhyme to make our scarf jump out of our hands, okay? It goes like this. Jack in the box, sit so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will. <laughs> oh, it ended. Okay, and we're gonna do that one more time and then it'll be time for our goodbye song. Okay, friends, so here we go. Put it together, small, small, into a ball. Hold it in your hands. It's okay if you can't hide it. Just hold it like that. We'll say, Jack in the box, sit so still. Will he come out? Yes, he will. Oh, friends, that was so fun. Okay, it is now time for us to say goodbye. Thank you for joining us today. We'll sing our goodbye song and then We'll see you later on smcl.org or here on our YouTube channel. Okay, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. Oh. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf. If you're happy and you know it, hug a friend. Oh, if you're happy and you know it, hug a friend. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, hug a friend. If you're happy and you know it, wave bye-bye. If you're happy and you know it, wave bye-bye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave bye-bye. Bye, friends. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you later.